Okay, there's more and more books going online all the time that'll help you with your genealogy. Uh, usually come in PDF format. There's, but the file size can be rather large if you want to share it. Well, I'm going to show you how to take certain pages and save them as one file. One way would be a PDF printer driver. Here I've got Primo and Cute PDF. But if you want a whole bunch of pages, the file size can get large again. Uh, it fits it to an 8.5 by 11 size. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little program that's going to work a little better. You go to agnesj.com slash pdf tkb and you scroll down. A lot of good PDF programs here. Here's a viewer. This works like a printer driver. But we want this uh, PDF TK Builder. And here it'll actually merge pages together, pull out certain pages, split them into individual files, background stamp, rotate. It does a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, let me show you how this works. So, uh, first off, we want to pull in the file we want. And you can either click Add or just click and drag the file over. Now we'll be able to pull out certain pages. As you can see this is a 605 page document. But there was only three pages that interested me. So now that we've got the file in I would recommend getting the title page for sources. If you want the table of contents and this page might be good too. Now the pages I'm interested in is up here in 550 and I basically want those next three pages. And just for the fun of it I'm going to put in the index to the whole thing in case I ever want to go back. So. I've already written down the page numbers I want. So I'm going to paste them in here. Now in the grouping, the dash means from one page all the way through to the next set of numbers. Uh, the commas for stopping and starting at a new area. Kind of get my drift there. and. Here's the first pages I want, next set I want, and then the final set I want. Okay, now all we do is click Save As. And I'm going to save this as Test. And yes, I want to replace it. And it was that quick. Now let's go ahead and open that. Let me resize that. Now we've got only 28 pages rather than the 600 plus. <laughs> There's the contents. There's that page. Then we jump right into the one area I want. Then goes into the index. Now this program, oh, some sites are embedding the text into the image. Well, this program will also move that embedded text over to the new file. This particular one is just images, so can't use that there in the 
books that are embedded that I have are copyrighted, so yeah, I don't want to show them. So I hope you give this a try. It's free, <laughs> the nice thing. And to show you, was a about a 16 meg file went down to about a meg. So this is actually pretty decent to email off to your family and friends or other researchers dealing with the same family. So I hope you'll enjoy.